Two killer mistakes that landlords do, and you should not. This is The Brief, and I'm Makarim Hani, analyzing property so that you can be more informed. First mistake is leasing to the highest payer, regardless of the profile of the tenant. Remember, a property is a business. A tenant is your client. You will need to have a relationship with the tenant, even if you're dealing with a management company. There are things that will need your involvement as a landlord. Definitely, a better relationship with a tenant makes things easier. So make sure the tenant you're leasing the property to is the right tenant, is the right quality of tenant, is someone you can get along with. By the way, I do so much business with my tenants beyond the lease of the property. And that is a great opportunity every time you lease a property to have a relationship with a great man or lady that can last for years and can generate so much profit and more. Mistake number two, you go ahead and lease the property and ignore property insurance on your end or on the tenant's end. Remember, if you lease a property and you don't insure it and the tenant does not insure it, that asset may become a liability of some sort. Actually, every asset has liabilities attached to it, has risks that you need to mitigate. Yes, you can't eliminate, but you can reduce to a bearable and stable fixed level. Mitigate your risk, insure your property. It costs you peanuts to the property rent and to the property value and does not have a giant impact on your return. Thank you for joining me on The Brief. I'm Makram Hani, analyzing property, and I hope I added value to you today. Ciao.